Hi everyone, it's Rachel and in this video I'll be showing you how to make these cats on a moon using polymer clay. This charm also glows in the dark, so let's get started. So starting off with the colour of the moon, I'm using Princess Pearl and Glow in the Dark, both by Sculpey, so that my moon is glow in the dark. I mixed in just a small amount of pink clay and mainly used glow in the dark so that it wouldn't turn fully opaque. I then used my large ball tool and the handle of one of my other tools to help me create the shape of the moon. I started off by rolling it on my work surface and then I used those two tools to create the shape. I just kept working on it until I was happy with it. Next I rolled six small balls of the same coloured clay and I placed these on the moon and then I went back with my dotting tool and placed an indent in each one to make it look like the craters of the moon. To make the cats I took my black polymer clay and I started off by shaping a little body. I just rolled the clay into a teardrop on my work surface and then I cut off the pointed end so that it was flat. To create the head, I took a ball of the black clay and I flattened it down so that I had a circle and then I used my tools to create an indent in the top part to help me shape the ears on either side of the head. I then just positioned the head and the body together and I used one of my tools to help blend them. I then did the exact same for both cats. Next to make the tails, I rolled a coil of the black clay and here I'm just working on some paper so that it has some more friction when I'm rolling the clay. I cut the coil of clay in half with my blade so that I had two separate tails and then I just curved the very end of each one so that it looks like half of a love heart. So I did that with both coils and then I simply placed them together and then you can blend them onto the moon so that they're nice and secure. Finally go ahead and add the two cats on either side of the tails. I had to actually cut off some of the body on an angle so that the cats would sit flat and you may need to do the same. Then if you would like to make it into a charm, go ahead and add an eye pin and then it's time to bake it in your oven according to your package's instructions. After baking, I went ahead and added some super glue to secure it in the eye pin and I also added a coat of UV resin for my glaze for extra protection and shine. And then this is what my finished charm looks like and here you can see how it also glows in the dark. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more crafty videos and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.